Uh, hey everybody, what's up? It's me again, and um, my memory finally ran out, so uh, before I get started with uh, any topical news I just found today, uh, let me go on with some uh, announcements and updates. Uh, Update-wise, I did finally got around to seeing um, all of uh, Jetman, and I will do a proper overview of that very soon. It's just I'm trying to shake off the ending. And as you may have noticed, I'm also on my phone because my camera's memory finally ran out. So if there's any technical problems, I'll make sure to fix that the next time, like <clears throat> buy a new um, memory card. Uh, anyway, with that also out of the way, um, obviously I'm going to talk about Blockbuster, and apparently there's 300 stores still left. But one final announcement, I did kind of found the next show I'm going to try to sit through. And if you excuse me, it's going to be... Kamen Rider Agito. Hi everybody, I'm... What's my name again? It's Agito. I told you this. You know what? I don't even know what your real name is, so we'll find out eventually. Alright, so with all that out of the way, um... Let's talk about Blockbuster, apparently. Um... Well, it's reported that um, the last 300 stores here in the U.S. are finally going to shut down come January. And on top of that, if you happen to be someone who, say, in the U.K., try to pre-order a PS, PS4 or an Xbox One, you're probably going to wait a little longer than everybody else. And that's about it. I'm just surprised the store is still here in the States, uh, let alone still in business. Um, because of companies like Netflix pretty much being the dominant video market ever. That and Best Buy where you can actually, if you are like me and actually want to still buy a movie, you can still go there. Or get it off uh, Amazon.com, you know, usual places. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get to my uh, fond memories of Blockbuster. Um, yeah, this is when I actually be nostalgic here and be the actual retro part of my namesake. Anyway, um, I never was around when I had to be, like, one of those membership guys to rent the place. I was way too young for that. But, um, I, I was definitely around when they were starting to bring in games, and that was just a whole hell of a mess, just seeing rentals of, like, all these games. And I think that eventually that's when they got their shit together and said, you know what, we're not going to mix the games, we're actually going to do it right. I mean, this this store pretty much took over every home video store ever for, like, <laughs> as long as I can remember. And then just by the mention of Netflix and instant streaming, it, it just got wiped in marketing. Well, that's just, you know, technical stuff. What, 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 my best memories was definitely going there and definitely, like, renting anything, any movie, mostly DVD stuff, because, again, that was my generation at the time. Um, what else? Uh, I don't really remember any of their gimmicky deals, just, you know, their stupid muted, um, TVs that always show, like, pr upcoming movies that just got on video, and they were always muted. That's, like, the best memory I could ever think of. Like, they were muted, they didn't have, like, any hype or anything. It's like, yep, this is coming out. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, the rest is just going there and just buy a movie or, you know, I'd buy, actually, if you can believe that. I was probably one of the few that actually bought their movies there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be more um, top 10, probably top 16 lists of people who actually have worse memories of this place than me. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. And, again... Since I got Netflix here, it's also reported that um, they're also going to bring in some Marvel shows and put them together as a as their own team. Uh, which which guys exactly? Uh, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and I know there's one more character, um, Jessica Jones, I think. And if you read the comics, that's also going to lead up to them being the Defenders. Uh, they're a low level team from what I'm, from Google searching, and um. I don't know, sounds good. So, uh, with all this out of the way, this is uh, Nerfan16 on YouTube, Retro Kid on RVT Streams, and sorry for the phone quality, and um, yeah, later.